So I've been having this problem that several other forum members have been having. There's actually a thread about it about two years ago, about a whistling sound um, that came from the engine at light throttle. So when you're just cruising around town, your toe's just on the throttle, just maintaining speed. Um, it whistles from about 1500 RPM all the way up to about 3000, 3500 RPM um, and creates a whistling sound. Now, people have smoke tested their cars, uh, found no leaks, no vacuum leaks, everything's fine, no codes, everything's good, same power. But there is a whistle, sort of like a jet, taking off. It's not as loud as, for example, a squeaky belt, but it is still annoying, especially with stock exhaust when you can hear it pretty well. It is also exaggerated by a aftermarket intake. So um, if you have an aftermarket intake and you have a big filter, you can hear the sound much more pronounced through it. Now the problem is, so if you have the plenum, right now it's upside down. So this is the driver's side when it's in the car. This is the driver's side and this is the passenger side. So the problem is, as I found on another forum, is this right here. So if you look in there, this goes from the idle air tubing. There's an idle air tube that connects to this. And the problem is this gasket right here. See how there's a gap in between the gasket and the wall of the uh, inside of the housing there? So I can move the gasket up and down. Now what happens is most of the air goes like this through there, right? But some of the air goes in between this gasket and the wall, this wall, and creates what I think is a whistle. And other people have put RTV here, so basically just like oil, oil pan gasket, black gasket maker, the one that you comes in a tube. And they sealed up this little gap here, and the whistle is gone. So I'm going to try to do that now, and uh, see if it works. I'm sure it will. There's uh, literally no other problems. I've diagnosed every single other part of the intake system and the vacuum system and I have found nothing. So hopefully that works out. Um, I was wondering whether you could just remove this gasket, but I don't want to flip anything up or mess anything up. So I'm just going to do the uh, RTV, RTV method and we'll see what happens. So I went to AutoZone and picked up the gasket maker that I needed to do this job. Now, the best stuff, I think, you can get normal RTV, like oil pan gasket, but it has a 24-hour cure time, like a fully cure time. This should be a quick job. So I got something called uh, the right stuff. Um, I've used this on my oil pan gaskets on my Subarus, and it literally dries almost instantly. Um, and, and, and within 90 minutes, you can drive the car again. Uh, e even on an oil pan where it's in contact with oil, now, what I'm going to do, I already opened it a little bit and put a little bit on there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I did it with my finger. So I just put it on the tip of my finger and I put my finger in there and sort of went like this around uh, on the gasket down in there. Now, another option is to put it on the tip of a uh, screwdriver and then uh, do it that way. So put it on a screwdriver, put it on your finger, or even put it on your pinky, and just go around like that, and seal it up right there. You see it's already almost sealed up. I'm just gonna put a little more to reinforce it, and then I'm going to clean it up, clean up the plenum, and then I'm going to throw back on the car, and hopefully that whistle is gone. So at this stage, as you can see, that lip is almost completely sealed. I'm going to put a little extra on there once again to reinforce it. That lip is almost completely sealed. And uh, that whistle will be no more. Knock them. Plenum. Um, anyways, yeah. What I found is it's easier to put the uh, stuff on the tip of a screwdriver. And then go like this around the edge. 
to apply it. And then take the tip of your finger, since it's like your finger's rounded, and press it into that gap in between. And makes it much easier and a cleaner application too, since you're not dropping any gasket inside there. I dropped a little bit, but I'm gonna clean that up with a rag before I put it all back together. All right, so now it's time to put everything back together again. Got the plenum all sealed up. And uh, it always amazes me just how nice the ITBs, the um, individual throttle bodies look. They look absolutely gorgeous with that nice gold look to them. Shame a big ass plenum goes on top of them. But uh, basically where that whistle co comes from is from right here so that piece on the bottom that i sealed up attaches to here and it goes to idle control valve right there and that's the problem is that idle control valve um pushing air i think under throttle it opens up and air gets pushed through that Tube. So air goes through the plenum up like this, pushed through that tube, but it gets pushed through that gap, which causes that whistle. So I'm gonna put everything back together right now. Hopefully fire it up. Let's see how it sounds. All right. So a little update. Got it all back together, and the whistling seems to have stopped. Um, like I said, that gasket dries fast, so I was able to go for a drive gonna go for a long drive now but I mean I went for a pretty good drive already and uh, whistling seems to have stopped like I said this will be more pronounced if you have an aftermarket intake I have a AFE stage 2 intake need to clean that filter a little filter um, net a little bit but yeah I have a stage 2 AFE intake so um, the sound was more pronounced, but now I, it's completely silent and I can't hear anything. So for anyone that's getting a whistle and can't find any other leaks or any other problems and no codes, this might be it. There are several other posts on the forums with this problem. Um, there, there wasn't any videos made of it yet though, um, and this is how you fix it. So take off your plenum. It's a pretty straightforward job, um, really easy, and it, it's really good because you get to uh, know the car, and uh, once you get off the plenum, there's actually a lot of things underneath there that you can learn about. So pop the plenum off, check if you have that lip, seal it up, and your whistle will go away. Alright, thanks for watching guys, have a great day, drive safe, and peace.